they're going to be taking the word gullible out of the next printing of the Webster's Dictionary. A lot of people are considering that it's uh, an ableist slur, like the word retard. And so we're just getting people's comments on this. Okay. Uh, I don't use that word often, so it doesn't really affect me. You don't use the word gullible that often? No. So a lot of people are saying that it should have been removed a while ago as an ableist slur. It sort of, you know, it, it mocks people who have diminished mental capacity and so do you think that maybe it should have been taken out earlier no i think just uh, maybe sensitive people the sensitive like people yeah and um is there any downside do you think to taking the word out or you think it's only a positive benefit for removing gullible from the dictionary well there might be some synonyms synonyms to it but i'm not familiar i wouldn't know in the next printed edition of the Webster's Dictionary, they're adding a bunch of new words that people use, and they also take old words out, and one of the words they're taking out is the word gullible. And we're just getting people's opinions on that. Is that a word that people still use, or is that fallen out of use and they should be removing gullible from the dictionary? I haven't heard of it used in a while, so... Oh, you haven't heard it used in a while? Uh-uh. Taking gullible out of the dictionary, this next printing, Webster's Dictionary, and we're just getting people's comments. Is that a word that your generation still uses? Or, gullible? Yeah. Is that, Absolutely. Oh, you do still use it? Yeah. Okay. It's on the list of words to be removed. For what? For from why? The, they say it's fallen out of use, and there's no, too many not. words in the dictionary. There ain't never enough words. You're just trying to minimize someone's mind, don't you think? Maybe that is a way to, you know reduce people's thought processes, I suppose. But why, do, why would they, why do you think they would want to take gullible out of the dictionary? I don't know, but I gotta go. Next oh, okay. day. That's a smart thing. I, I think the dictionary is wonderful and I think it, it, for lack of a better word, sucks if they want to take the word, word any word out, really. I think, it, I think it's, I mean, I think that the dictionary is perfect the way it is. Well, I think they say that a lot of new words being used would cause the dictionary to be too thick. And, and so they're taking out words, and then one of them on the list this year is gullible, so. Well, I guess that's their prerogative. I mean, I don't know. I say no, my vote would be no. I think they should keep it. They should keep the gullible in the dictionary? Yes. So long. Is that a word that- I is, still use the word gullible. Oh, you still do use the word gullible? Yeah, I'm 20 and I use it like almost every day of my I, life. Almost every day. So do you, th you think it should not be taken out of the dictionary then? No, I think it's a good word. It's a good word? I would, put, I would keep it in the dictionary. Keep it in the dictionary. Yeah. Why do you think they would add that to the list of words to take out if well, it's still so commonly used? Well, there's probably like, you know, the new era, the younger people, they want to get with the program and things like that. And maybe not that many people do use gullible. And they're like, hey, if not that many people are using gullible, then maybe we should take it out and put a word that like maybe a younger generation knows. Yeah. But that's probably the reason they want to like fit in with the younger generation and like... You know, One like of the that. reasons they're saying is that it's an ableist slur. It's like the R word, and it's sort of de demeaning to people with, you know, mental. Um, what was the word again? Gullible. Well, I mean, whenever I say gullible, I'm just like, oh, like that, was, like I'm gullible sometimes. It's not like I'm trying to call myself the R word or anything like that. Like the so you R don't word. Think it's demeaning. No, you know? I personally don't. I've never used it or heard anyone say it in a demeaning type of way. It's the, okay. And. When's the last time somebody called you gullible? Shoot, like three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah. So it happens pretty regularly, you think? Yeah, gullible is like one of the regular words I use. No, that people use to yeah. describe you? Yeah, I've heard it with other people too. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Just leave it in there. It's been in there. Why would somebody come up with such a ridiculous idea, do you think, to take gullible out of the dictionary? I have no idea right now. No. Oh, yeah? Is that a word that's still used? I use it all the time. Oh, yeah, are you trying to use it on me? We're just asking. Well, I feel like it's used constantly, oh, like in constantly? in situations like this. Probably, how many it, people yeah, have you gotten? It is a lot. Yeah, quite. You'd be shocked. Actually. Really? Yeah, you'd be mm, surprised. That's a shame <laughs> for Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. What's not a joke, however, is you can save 20% off of any of my shirts from MarkDice.com this whole week by using the promo code Labor Day at the checkout. So order my new Nuclear Magus shirt, my climate change shirt, which illustrates how the climate changes each season, the classic liberalism find a cure shirt, or any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code Labor Day at the checkout to save 20% this whole week, and check them out.